Hey, guys, Jim Loxy here, back with our blind playthrough of Amnesia The Dark Descent. So you may ask, since we finished the game the last time, how is this still a blind playthrough? Well, apparently there's a Justine expansion, which I didn't realize until I was looking through the achievements, uh, which is this. And it, strangely enough, it doesn't give you the option from the main menu. You have to go... When you first play the game on Steam, it's either run Amnesia Dark Descent or run the settings launcher. And of course, I always choose run Amnesia. But you go to the settings launcher and then down in the lower right is a little button. It's like Justine and you click that and it brings you to this. Um, yeah, so before we started, though, I just wanted to. I have since since finishing the game and starting this, uh, I have replayed the game. I was going for, I was like, let me, you know, I was like, there's six or seven achievements left. Let me just go get those. And that's where I figured out, oh, there's this Justine thing. One of the achievements is get all notes in all playthroughs or, or from all playthroughs or whatever, right? Which includes both Justine and this. Um, but in, in playing the original, once again, I enabled developer's commentary, which thankfully I had turned off the first time just because it, it really would have kind of damaged the tension, you know? Um, but <clears throat> I don't know. I still, like I said, I still have mixed feelings about the game, but I will say that if anything, I have more respect for the developers. Uh, it kind of actually makes me want to play Soma, which I somehow I ended up getting for free. There was like a free giveaway a while back um, because I just want to see if they were able to improve. Just listening to the commentary, it sounds um, it, like they had to sort of they changed a lot of things around during development, which is probably pretty common, but but they actually put a lot of thought into, you know, are the players going to feel tension at this point? We don't, you know, they, they basically said, like, we don't want them to get frustrated. We want them to be scared. That's the point. <clears throat> Yeesh, excuse me. Um... I don't know. I, I still think for me, I probably would have preferred more story and less puzzles. Um, it's really interesting, actually, though, going through and trying to get the. Uh, you know, I had to go through with like maps, like a list of collectibles to get the. Uh, there's a there's an achievement for picking up all the tinder boxes. There's like one hundred and twenty one or something like that. And what's really interesting is that there will be, like, especially the later, um, or the ones, like, halfway through, where, was it the prison? The prison level? There's, like, eight different monsters. I didn't realize they're not all the same, which, that's pretty interesting. It's like, you know, and it, it listed, like, the triggers, it's like, this one appears when you do this. And then in the commentary, it's like, oh, it only lasts for a couple of minutes, and then it despawns, because they don't want you know they're they're thinking about like how they can keep the tension high and if you keep showing the monster you know you want there goes manny you want the the player to feel like they're pursued but again like i mentioned in in my playthrough it's like it's the illusion of danger right so so they were actually thinking about it so they get they have more you know more respect um I still, even though they tried to do it, I still don't think they were fully successful, at least with me. Um, hopefully they were with other people, because, you know, I know I'm not, I'm only one person. I'm not the sum total of, of all video game players or whatever, but, you know, just, uh, just a thought. All right. So let's let's do this. Good of you to come. This time it will be a trial of character. I don't know how long this is going to take uh, online 
people were saying it takes anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes uh since it's like one it's a single go um and just from brief look briefly looking at the maps it's probably like when i was scrolling through the uh the maps for the um the Illuminatus achievement, it looked like there were three or four maps for the Justine thing. So, I have no idea what this is going to be. We'll find out. <sighs> Good of you to come. This time it will be a trial of character. Bear in mind, death is final. Nothing will be saved. I assume they're talking to us. Come on, wake up. You need to get going. All right, we'll use the John profile again. Amnesia Justine. See, this looks totally different. Nothing will be saved. That's start a new game. Well, yeah. So is this a prequel? I know... Okay. They keep showing us the pulley system. I can't really move the camera around much. Are we tied up? What's... Doesn't look like it. Okay. It's hooked to the... What do they call it? A gramophone or something? We were on the bed. Locked firmly. Do I have an inventory? I do. All is good, crystal clear, all notes. I don't know if I have a lantern yet. All right, so that that's like you're grabbing. That's strange. I assume doing something with this will open the door. Oh. Oh yeah. Bienvenue. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. Is this our voice? I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. Right, I know that... So... Oh, there's the lantern. First, uh, well one thing's first there is i think for this there's like four achievements specifically related to this there's the three endings regarding how many of the people you're saving or something and then the fourth one is a it's a reference to portal which this kind of reminds me of portal a little bit like oh we're i'm you're being tested right um, but my immediate thought is that, well, two thoughts. One, why not just a note, like with Daniel, whatever. Uh, but secondly, is that Justine's voice? Are, first off, are we Justine? I assume we are. And is that her voice? Did she, is this like, just like Amnesia, where, you know, the main character set this up in advance? At this point, unknown. All right. You don't necessarily need to crouch. Okay. I mean, I'm in the light right now. All right. 
Oh, it sounds like there's a monster. That's wonderful. Were we supposed to have seen the monster? I just wish the rumbling would stop. Broken ladder. All right, we just we just get it. Oh, how much? Uh, well, we got the lantern, but no oil, which is a little strange. Hmm. I assume we're in Castle Brennenberg, but who knows? I see, that floor doesn't look stable. Gotta stick to the edges. A note, okay, well. A new plan, I don't know what this is. It's like a different language. Avril, like April. Salutation inspector, also 1858. I wanna say when Daniel did his whole Brandenburg thing, it was 1839, 30 something. Salutation, Inspector Moreau of the Surete Nationale. As you may very well know, the Chief of Police in Calais... Where's Calais again? I know it's in Europe somewhere. ...has turned down my request to pursue Justine Florbel for stealing my son away. Ever since their affair started, Aloha... It's like gotta be French. My son has forsaken his dues to his family. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa. <clears throat> Yeesh. Uh, has forsaken his dues to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the law seems unable to find a crime within the realm of Mademoiselle Justine's actions, I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fournier later this week. He is a respectable alienista, an expert in the human psyche, and he believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. If he is able to diagnose her as a hysteric, it would provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you and your agency will not turn us down. Cordialmen, Lucien Racine. Stealing my son away, so... She had an affair with the son, so the mother is upset. Alright, let's... Is there a new monster? Yep. I guess we wait. Oh, is it coming this way? Is it talking to us? Is it going away? Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be much obliged. Okay. That sounds bad. Help me. Please help me. I would I would like to. Please, please be reasonable. 
trouble. You don't have to do this. Oh, what did I do? Did I just arm the thing? Let's not do that then. Okay, so he's dead. Or is that this in here? All right. Yep, more more leeches and stuff. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the racket thing? <clears throat> Justine, my love, I know I'm not as talented as Mallow or as strong as Basile, but I'm certain my love is truer. Do not my scars tell you so. I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Basile, Basile if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide. Poor Justine, I will help. Just ask me to help. Eloa, this is the one she sent. Forgive me. The one the mother was mad. So was he in here too? Were they all... I'm going to try and free him if I can figure out how to do it. Okay. So just like with Daniel, lots of hallucinations and stuff. But I mean, in Daniel's case, it was because... They were his victims or something? I don't know. Well, I hope I didn't need that. Just trying to move it across the violin. Didn't seem to work. Alright, what a... Okay, doesn't seem like that will collapse. Anyone there? Dude, I'm trying to open the door, but... Was that ladder always there? No. It will not budge. Would it would it have though? I mean that's all I could do, right? Unless uh I bet there's a key somewhere. Um, okay, just walk into the wall. Am I actually Justine? I guess I don't even know if I'm a woman. I assume there's, I mean, I assume there's a monster. I just hope it's not falling. I don't know where I'm going. All 
Alright, that works. Maybe if there's a monster, I can whack him with one of these rocks. All right. Let's see what our next task is, I guess. Am I short now all of a sudden? Oh, I see. There's no cylinder in the phonograph. <sighs> okay. All right. What about you? Congratulations for coming this far. I so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. He was a friend and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. <sighs> all right, I guess. That one doesn't break. Interesting. More rats. Newspaper article 19 March 1858. Travesty at the conservatory. Many Parisians. Okay, so it is France. Had gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Melo de Vigny. One of Justine's suitors. Another one, apparently. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet, but the evening took an unexpected turn. Young Melo de Vigny turned up visibly intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow was jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song, La Rose et la Biel. The stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Florbel, who is, according to rumors, romantically involved with Monsieur de Vigny, looked quite amused by the event, and had two of her friends, Basile Giraud and Aloy Rysian, carry him off the stage. The evening was saved by other musicians at the conservatory, who was able to perform a most delightful impromptu concerto in Malo de Vigny's absence. The audience showered their saviors with praise, and calls for encore were awarded with spectacular pieces by both Offenbach and Chopin. Or Chopin. All right. It's, it's funny because even though there's like physics puzzles and stuff, I don't really mind them. Like, I don't think they're really necessary, but I don't, I don't dislike them. I guess we're going this way. I just don't... <sighs> like, what's... I guess I just don't know what the hook here is. Like, what's... The downstairs library still reminded her of father. All those hours spent there had fostered a sense of shelter. Like, I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. You know, if that makes any sense. I still have the ladder. Huh. Yeah, I bet you were supposed to open that grate in the floor and probably use the ladder and then get down there and that's somehow how you save the dude. I don't know. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? 
Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. I've heard her voice somewhere before. I don't know where. All right, so we have tinder boxes now, I guess. All right, that's cool. Well, yep, because we're going insane. Slide two. So where is slide one? And presumably there's a slide projector of some kind. All right, slide one. Results, the tests, the tests have been going well. The most long-term and in a sense, the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood, for every day is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She de definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she's able to effortlessly reduce all her experiences into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with the characters facing the same way. I've asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I'm asking. So is Justine like a test subject or something? That's kind of weird. Puzzle lock. Two slides with the characters facing the same way. So presumably they need to face opposite or, well, opposite directions, possibly towards each other. Hard to know. All right, so what? There's going to be one slide per room, and then what? Okay, presumably... Presumably Justine, presumably Father... Or something. Slide four. Who, who are you? Who's there? You'll burn for this. You'll burn for this. Help! Ah, have mercy! All right. Do I... Framed stencil with a silhouette of a man, silhouette of man, silhouette of man. All right. What do I... Do I... Sick, twisted child. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe so. Soul Journal Entries. Justine, age 8. Today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a bird pick at a snail. It carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me. The bird took off into the air. Today I was the one with open arms. I feel like this is all going to make more sense once we're done with it. You know what I mean? And then you can go through again and be like, oh, that's what's going on. But, like right now, I'm just kind of, I'm not super grabbed. Justine, age nine. Today I played with the slides from Father's light box. Above all, I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said he sees things he likes. Today, I was the right one. Today, I was the... Huh. Father said I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today, I was the one kneeling. Today, Father came for me in my room. I still couldn't look him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed that I was only trying to fill the void left by Mother. That 
could be horrible. When he wasn't looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today, I was the one with the sword. So these are the four slides, I guess? Okay, he's praying. Presumably he's someone else. But what do you do? You do something with the slides, presumably? I mean, it looks like it has two slots, but I don't even know what they are. Okay. Slide three. Great. I want to just pull the lever again. I'm assuming it'll kill him if you do it. It's probably like you do it wrong three times and it, it kills the person. That's what I would guess. You know, so you put no slides in or whatever. Hmm. Okay. I expected that was going to be a monster, to be honest. I was just like... I mean, it could be. Maybe we should run? Time was slowing down. It was very odd. Alright, so, well, this is something... Right, presumably you have to light this, and then... Guess you have to use the... I'm just not... Hmm... Silhouette of the man, silhouette of man, silhouette of man. Okay, well, we'll see what two does, I guess. Man with a sword... Okay. Open arms, sword. Is that kneeling? Um, open arms, the right one. The man standing to the right, I suppose. Kneeling sword. Okay, can I? I feel like I'm supposed to know which one I'm supposed to put in there, but I... The only thing I can think of is the sword and the one to the right. So I guess that was the wrong choice. Do I take the slides again? Is it... Nope, it's stuck. Alright, fair enough. I... Yeah. I'm sure there's an answer in that, like, puzzle thing. Or in the... I mean, maybe this is terrible. But I'm like... You know... I was the one with open arms. And it said, is he praying or is he kneeling or whatever? And I'm like, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Like, I... Where... I mean, I guess I'm going to be honest, I don't really care 
about saving the dude in the first place, but it's like, I, I want to understand the puzzle, you know? It's like, I don't know who the dude is. I have no emotional investment in it. It's like, you're here, do this thing. Get a result. I'm like, all right, you got one. Oh, there's a puzzle. All right, what is it? Oh, we're not going to tell you. I mean, figuring it out is part of the puzzle. That That is the puzzle. If you have to figure out what it is, right? I'm just like, okay. Guess I... Guess I failed at that. So is this door open now? All right, well... I mean, he's dead, so... Was it here? Because there was a phonograph with a... Missing a thing. It's jammed. All right. Oh, that opened. The bookshelf in the back. Wasn't, uh, hmm. I, I did look up something about the portal reference and I could have sworn it said like, oh, in the library, find a movable book and blah, blah, blah. But I completely forgot. Wasn't, I wasn't completely paying attention to be honest. Okay. It just said there was a note somewhere. Okay, that's unexpected. All right. Uh huh. Was it? I'm just pulling every book onto the floor because. Hmm. That one was backwards. That's odd. F you knowledge. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I feel like I've pulled every... Pulled every book in this place. Now what? Chase sequence? God, I hope not. I wonder... Is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Saves us from trying. Fair enough. Why do the doors always open towards us? 
great. Monsters? Potatoes. Well, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, crap. Did it see me? We'll see. I know... Like, you have to not look at it. I'll kill you? It sounds like... Well, oh god, it's gonna find me, isn't it? Go away. I'm actually a little bit un unnerved. There is something to this where it's like... Where it's like, you, you want to look, but looking is what makes you threatened. So it's like you have to be vulnerable. Oh, come on, is it coming back? We're gonna... Just gotta stay low. Try and slip by it. Hopefully we don't... Freak out or something. I just don't know where I'm going. That's the problem. Oh god damn, really? I clicked. They knew they would have to capture the men, but what to ultimately do with them was a decision that had to be postponed. So it saw me, but presumably because I got close to the door. Right. Presumably because I got close to the door, like in like in the other one. That's that's what happened. It was like It was like you you got close to the door of the next area. Oh, chase sequence. You know, so there's probably is there gonna be another chase sequence? Probably. I'm sure you have figured out how it all works by now. <clears throat> Not really. Are you enjoying my quips? I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. Something tells me no. It'll all be over soon. Water. Great. So this is gonna be a... Yeah, I got the lantern, but I still have no... What's the point in getting the lantern when I have no lantern oil? Um, so is this gonna be like a monster in the water, or is it gonna be... Well, I mean, I see boxes right there. Looks like a door. Switch, maybe. Another door. What are these? Why is that one lit up like that? Well, whatever. Okay, this is missing the lever. It won't budge. Police are here. Maybe they can help you. Something tells me... No.
Well, okay. So there's this, the open door or the closed door? Let's try the open one first. I mean, relatively speaking, it's locked. Okay. I can crouch, that's cool. I don't know what that thing on the wall is, if it's anything at all. Nope, it's just texture. Rods? Okay, that's the lever. Why do I need it? I mean, I know, well, I need it to open the door, but... Why... See, I wonder if they... I'm sure they did that on purpose, where the sound of the steam sounds like a, the monsters. Is it... Are they doing that on purpose, so it's gonna... You know, the monster's gonna show up, and you're like, oh, that's just steam. Great. Do I have to run? Why do I think the answer is yes? What do I do? Okay, I need a cogwheel. Can I take it from here? No. That's probably it. All right, let's... Did it just open the door? Oh, God. Maybe it didn't open the door yet. Okay, it sounds like the door is busted open. Something tells me what? Am I gonna be able to hide from it in here? <sighs> My thought is no. My guess is I'm screwed. <clears throat> yep, I hear it. Okay, well, there. Right, one hit, you're dead. Let me guess. Wow. Just like that, it just kicks you out, huh? All right, well. I guess we're done. I guess we're done. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, Yeah, I'm not super, uh... Yeah, I don't really care about that, to be honest. Um... Like, they didn't even bother to... go back to the main menu, or anything. You know, they're just like, ah, we're just gonna quit! We'll just quit the game. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Like, you're putting that... It's... <sighs> you know... 
I mean, they must have charged for it or something originally. Is there a DLC? Is there... Hang on, let's... Let's pull this up. Store page. There's Amnesia Rebirth. Hmm, excuse me. Um... It doesn't say like there's Justine DLC. It must come... I mean, it obviously comes with it, but... Um... Hmm... Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm just... I'm just kind of like, you know, if it... So, if it literally was not for the achievements, I would not even know that I had this thing. I would not even know that Justine was a part of it. Um, and, and at least with Amnesia, it's like I wanted to figure out what was going... You know, they, they sort of give you, my name is Daniel, oh, you have to stop... You know, once you get through the tutorial section or the, like, the first note you find is, like, Daniel, you have to find find an old man and kill him. And you're like, okay, that's why. You know, what's the story? This is like you wake up and it's Saw, basically. It's like, do you kill these people or do you save them? And then, oh, by the way, you've been playing for almost an hour. Sucks to be you. You just... You just got one-shotted by the enemy and died. It's like, really? Okay. Way to... Way to make me want to keep freaking playing. You know, especially when you're like... You're supposed to, I mean, not in this case, I guess, but you're supposed to, like, hide from the monsters, you know what I mean? So it's like you, you wait. You sit there and you wait and you look away. That way they'll they'll go away. You know, it's it's about being patient and waiting and stuff. But if they're just gonna they're just gonna waste your time, then why? You know. So I'm not super thrilled. I I like the concept kind of. I I guess I don't know. I'm like I said. I'm sure we're gonna. You know, you get to the end and then you're like, oh, that's what the whole thing was. But I'm just not feeling it. Not feeling it and. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I, I mean, man, yeah. I don't know. I want to like it. I have... Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not... I'm just not in the mood. I'm just like, all right, whatever. You know, waste my... Waste my time. Waste my F-bomb time. Um, Yeah. I gave it a go. I, I, I seriously didn't know it was like... Yeah, I didn't know you had one shot at it. I knew it was short, but it was I didn't realize it was just like, oh no, we're not gonna save. You gotta redo the whole thing from the beginning. It's like, okay. It's funny though, because when I was like, um when I was like, how long to beat Justine? Like I Googled it. Someone was like, I saw it in I saw it done in five minutes. I'm like, holy shit. Okay. Alright. Uh but yeah, that's I'm not gonna I'm not going to do any more. I mean, I'll do more on my own, but I think that's going to be it for the for this game, for the channel. I gave Justine a shot, and I'm like... You know what? I don't know. Maybe I will. If there's another episode after this, then you know. But I have a feeling I'm going to die more. You know what I mean? I feel like that's not the end, because we hadn't even gone to the third victim. You know? And I... Like I said, I was looking through some of the achievements and it was like how to get all of them. Oh, with the, the third victim, you got to be careful. It's really hard to get because you're timed and blah, 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 blah. I assume the third victim is in there somewhere, but I don't freaking know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I have no idea if this episode was any good or not. I... It, it, like, I was, will, I was open-minded. I was like, you know, I want to give this a... I want to give it a go. Right? And then it's just... Here's this thing. 
I'll redo it all. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Hopefully it was, hopefully it was decent, but I just wasn't, I like the concept, but I just wasn't feeling it. I, I really don't think, like, what did we add? A roguelike element to the game all of a sudden? Like, if you die, you have to do the whole thing over again from scratch? Like, that's kind of BS, but I, I know it's short, but it's like, isn't the whole, isn't the whole point to, like, kind of explore and look around and story and read notes and stuff like that? Maybe I'm, it, it just seems, it's just totally weird. It's like, Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't... It's like... It's like speed yoga. Speed tai chi or something like that. It's, it's totally... It just feels totally contradictory. It's like, do this thing, but also we're going to take the opposite, and then we're going to try and smush them together. I don't know. I don't know, man. What's your guys' unique positive moment for today? By the way, any questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or different, let me hear them. I wish I could say more about this. I don't even know what I'm... Like, I don't even know what to feel. <laughs> you, know, you know? Aside from, like... Kind of, like... I'm, like, confused and half displeased, and I'm just, like... What is going on, you know? Uh, but yeah, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent. Let me hear them. I read all of them. I respond to all of them. It usually takes me a few days, though. Um, what's your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? Uh, for me, I brought my kitties to the vet. And uh, they did okay. You know, Manny's a little spicy. They, they don't like it. Um, and all the... All the nurses and doctors are kind of like wary of him because I guess during COVID I wasn't allowed to be there and he was like biting and stuff and it's like well he's a fighter yep uh makes me a little proud actually a little proud but uh yeah you know he did well they, they got some blood and stuff we're gonna see what the labs are and uh yeah I mean I'm I was going to say, I'm sure they're fine. If they're not fine, I mean, they're getting older. So it's like, whatever. I'm just going to spoil them as best I can. And then, uh, you know. But uh, but yeah, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys are just as good. If not better, hopefully better. Of course. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do another episode of this. I'm going to play it again. I just don't know if I want to do it for the channel. I don't know if it'll be... I don't even know how many more times it's going to take me to freaking beat it. Probably another three, I would guess. Maybe that alone would be interesting, just the frustration. Maybe that alone would be worth it. Yeah, maybe. I don't mind making a fool out of myself. Look at the, look at the hentai games I played, after all. Right? Visible uncomfortableness or whatever like, like <laughs> that was the whole point i started using the face cam was to was i was like this is gonna be a disaster i'm gonna be so i'm gonna blush the whole time uh yeah anyway man sorry i'm yawning so much um but yeah hopefully your guys unique pause moment is just as good as mine if not better hopefully better of course and i hope to see you guys next time till then guys take care